started, I've just created a new account and I want to add a new page. I go to the top left button and click the pages button. Create a new page. I add a title and description. You can always change this later. Then click create page and that's it. How to work the page menu options. To open the pages menu, you click the pages button in the top left corner of your window. You'll see a lot of options here. Not all of them are visible. Some of them only appear when you place your mouse pointer over the area. We do this to keep the interface simple and clean. Here are the most important options to learn about. 1. Navigate and reorder pages. 2. Open the page options menu. With this you can organize widgets, rename a page, duplicate one, share, archive or even delete a page. 3. Star a page. When you do this, it will appear in the star menu in the header. This is especially useful if you have many pages or if you want to present a page while hiding your personal pages. 4. Open the page settings in your user admin. This is where you have a lot of other options. We'll just mention it now and leave a detailed explanation for another video. 5. Navigate to the Pages Gallery. This is where you see all the Start Me pages our users have shared with the world and the community. Very surprising and interesting. 6. Our final option to go pro. If you want to unlock all pro options our service has to offer and become even more productive online, click this button at the bottom. Once you've created a page on Start Me, you can start adding widgets. On an empty page, you can click Add Widgets. For pages with existing widgets, click the plus icon in the header, that's over here, or on the page grid, that's here. This option will only appear when you put the mouse pointer in the area just below the last widget of a column. The plus icon in the header opens the Add Widgets window. This is where you find and select all the widgets you want to add. To make it easy, we display the five most popular widgets in the first list. They are free to use for everyone. To locate and access our other widgets, click More Widgets. You can also search for widgets or open the Widgets Gallery. Let's first add a Bookmarks widget from an empty page, like this. And now add some bookmarks. Wikipedia, YouTube, Gmail. Now that we've got a page with one widget, we'll add a widget from the header. This news widget seems interesting. The New York Times. Note, you can select every website as a news source, as long as they offer an RSS feed. And finally, let's add a widget by clicking on the page grid. I'll choose a notes widget this time. This is interesting. Oh, and if you would like to delete a widget you've just added, use your mouse pointer to go to the top right corner of the widget. The more button will appear, three dots. Click it and then click delete widget. Don't worry, we'll always ask you to confirm this action first. One of the great features of our free service is that there are no limits to the number of widgets you can add to your pages. With a pro subscription, you can unlock other useful widgets like the image gallery and more.
How to change backgrounds and layout. To change the background of your Start Me page, go to the header and click the More button, the three dot icon. You'll open the Page Actions menu. The first option is Change Background and Layout. When you click it, you'll see several options. Reset the background to Start Me Blue. You'll also see a selection of hundreds of selected backgrounds you can choose for your page. They come from Unsplash and are free to use for everyone. By default, we display the most popular backgrounds, but you can also filter them to see only newly added backgrounds, nature or city. These are just some of the options you have. You can also upload your own image. Click plus in the right bottom corner of this window. Note, they will not be visible to anyone but you. If you prefer not to see a background image, you can also choose a color. Click the option Select Color. Just like with the background images, if you want to use your own color, you can click the plus icon and add it in hex color code with the hashtag included. Note, when you click the color or image you like, we will update your background immediately. We also save it in the background. Once you've chosen your background, close the window by clicking the X in the top right corner or clicking outside of the window. The layout options you see in this window also have to do with the background. With the slider widget transparency, you can reveal the background image behind the widgets as much as you like. So if you want to see more of your background, slide it towards the high percentage end. And if you want to make your widgets more prominent, slide it left. You can also set the individual transparency of every widget, so there's maximum flexibility here. The final option has to do with the number of columns you want to show on your page. You can select up to five columns. Use drag and drop to put the widgets where you want them. Click close to leave the organize widgets mode or click on your page. How to change display settings. The bookmark widget is the cornerstone of any Start Me page. It's the most powerful and versatile widget we offer and it's free for all to use. It also has many different display settings which we'll show now. First, take your mouse pointer to the top right corner of the bookmarks widget until you see the More button. Three dots. Click it and you'll see a lot of options. You can open all links at once. Add new bookmarks. Edit them. Sort them. With a Pro account you can add groups to a bookmarks widget. That's great if you have many bookmarks. If you want to copy, merge or move the entire widget, you can do that too. The next option is the one we're looking for, Display Settings. We'll click it now. First of all, you can decide how to show your bookmarks. In a list, that's the default option. In a detailed list, this is useful when you want to share pages, you can give a comment or you can add tags here to locate your bookmarks later. As icons, this way there's less empty space in your widget. As a cloud, so you can see the icons and the title. Next up icon or favicon size. 
and you can also lose the icon altogether. Another option, the number of bookmarks you want to display on your widget by default. You don't have to see them all at once, you can hide a few, like this. And finally, you can apply the settings for your widget to all other bookmark widgets on the page. One click and your page is in style, like this. As always, we apply your choice immediately and save your settings in the background. How to share your pages By default, all your pages on StartMe are private. If you want to give access to your information, there are several steps to full disclosure. You start by clicking the Share button in the header. Invite by email. This way you control exactly who else has access to your page. You need the email address of the person you want to invite and view the page. You type it in the box and click the plus. If you also want to give them edit rights, you will need a pro subscription. Share with the protected link and the password. This way your information is confidential for anyone who doesn't have the password you decide. This is also a pro feature. Share with an open link. Anyone with the link can open your page in their browser. The link itself isn't published on any platform. If you want to share it on social media, that's up to you. Share with a public link for everyone. This way your page will appear in our Start Me search bar in the search results and external search engines like Google. If you want to, you can also submit your page for consideration to our Pages Gallery. If accepted, we will promote your page in the Start Me community and on our social media channels. When you share a page, you'll share all bookmarks and other widgets on that page. So make sure there's no information that you don't want to share. And if you no longer wish to share the page, you can change the status immediately. We will save your changes in the background. How to embed content. StartMe allows you to gather multiple sources of information in one place. You can use bookmarks, notes and news widgets, but the options don't stop there. In fact, you can embed just about anything online as long as you have a URL or an iframe. Here are some of your examples. 1. Embed a YouTube video like this one from your favorite bookmark manager. Go to the video, click share, embed, copy. Now return to your start page, add an embed widget, that is plus embed. Click the body of the widget, press Ctrl V, done. Two. Embed a map, like this one from a pretty castle. Go to Google Maps. Share. Embed a map. Copy HTML. Now return to your start page. Add an embed widget. That's plus embed. Click the body of the widget. Paste the HTML. And done. You can embed many different maps, not just from Google. Embed a Google Doc or a sheet, like this document with some dummy text. Click File, Share, Publish to the Web. Embed, 
Control C. Now return to your start page, add an embed widget, that is plus, embed, click the body of the widget, paste the HTML, and done. Note, you can embed not just Google Documents, but also Microsoft Word Documents and many other types. If you want to embed a Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet, like this document with some dummy data, click File, Share, Publish to the Web, Embed and Ctrl C. Now do the same as before. Add an embed widget, paste the code and click done. 4. Embed podcasts. For example, the New Yorker radio podcast. I heart the New Yorker. For this widget I've used the podcast platform iHeart.com, but you can find embed codes on Spotify, Apple Podcast or wherever you get your podcasts. Locate the episode you want to embed. Click Share, Share Episode. Scroll down to locate the iframe data, select and copy. Now return to your start page, add an embed widget, paste the code and click done. 5. Embed an external website like Flip a Coin. Go to the website you want to embed. You could create a bookmark, but when you click it, you get transported to a new window and leave your start page. If you don't want that, you can copy the address. Now return to your start page. Add an embed widget. Paste the code. And done. 6. Embed a free tool from an external website like a countdown, timer or a poll. Just like before, look for the share or embed option, copy it, return to your page and paste it to an embed widget. And finally, you can also embed social media accounts, but we have dedicated widgets for them, like a Twitter account or a Facebook widget. Here's our Start Me Twitter account, and here's our Facebook page. In sum, the embed content widget helps you to save time. Now you don't have to leave your page to be informed. And best of all, it's free for all.